Is there something you need? There is much of the one if you need to speak. Sometimes I can shed my skin for a while, take on the form of another of the land's dwellers. There is no magic in it, just the ability to relax the mind. I am. Some way I can help? Why, I place... I suppose you'd say I stick my hands in just about everything. Great! What's wrong now? Why? Like you care? Ah, welcome back! I remember you. Well, I think I do. You were the one with the shards, I hope. Yes, I am so pleased you let me visit. 
The last time I was here, I wasn't able to examine much to the keep or the library. Quite a shame. Oh, that is unfortunate. I occasionally return to that side project when I have time, but to be honest, it's a difficult stone to crack. I mean, it's one thing to know about a place and quite another to find it. The distinction is subtle, but there. Let's see. You have explored the Ilfarn ruins, undergone the ritual of purification, and traveled to Old Owl Well. Although I seem to recall something regarding getting several vials of dragon's blood, and of course some lich dust, then there's the three keys, bronze, silver, and red platinum. The red platinum one might need to be reforged. I think one of the pieces is an arm. Or was it the Underdark? Master Aldenon, here is the map with the position marked, as you requested. My question exactly. What is this nonsense? I didn't ask for any map. Can't you see we're having an important discussion here? Master Aldenon, you requested I chart a possible location for you based on the information you provided. I had the Master Cartographer and several assistants cross-checking the records, and you were correct. This location cannot be scried, and it bears the telltale arcane marks you indicated would be there. So? Marks of what? Specifics, please, or I'll get the gardener to handle my errands from now on. Master Aldenon, you did not say what this place was, only what to look for. As you have said, it is one thing to find a place, and quite another thing to know about it at all. It seems so. What a relief. Though I could have used some dragon blood and some lich dust, and there's no way I'd go hunting for reagents like that. No thank you. But yes, I seem to recall asking for this. Well done, Aldenon, I say. Which I do. Good for me. Wouldn't you agree? Well, there were two things I felt would be essential in a haven. Secrecy and its ties to the court of Neverwinter. Secrecy means a place that cannot be scried. So I hired several diviners in my employ to scan a selected area based on shipments of reagents to a few obscure locations indicated in the court records. Quite simple, really. Sure looks buried deep within the mountains. Oh, well, I'm not certain it's there. But if I were to guess where one would place a labyrinth of death traps, well, mountains are always a good source of stone. Labyrinths need walls, you know, and stone walls seem to be favored. Great. Can we go now? My ancestor's death-filled labyrinth awaits, apparently. Master Aldenon, there was more to the map, and what the Diviners found. Even with the wards, the concentration of infernal magics there... Oh, trust me. Demons shouldn't pose any problems. Especially for a well-trained, armed, spirited group like that. Now, if you had told me that those men at Crossroad Keep had completed that terrible ritual of shadows, then I would be concerned. Metallurgy, thaumaturgy, yes, you heard me. Building a golem, I hope, will serve thee. No, that rhyme doesn't quite work, does it? Maybe if I use alchemy... Either way, it won't work. That construct you're messing with, gnome, it's dangerous. Ah, this is in safe hands, Sir Bishop. Gnome hands, as it were, being my name. How reassuring. I'll be sure to remind myself who's to blame when it turns on us. Oh, there is little fear of that. I think. Any accomplished craftsman takes care to put safety wards so that they might command their own creation. That's as comforting as leaving the village idiot in charge of a trebuchet. Oh, come now. That's hardly a proper analogy. It's more like leaving the village idiot in charge of a huge savage, nearly unstoppable wolf, who can only understand simple commands like kill or stop killing or, oh no, put both halves of that man down this instant. But really... This blade golem is such a gentle, unassuming creature. It would never do something so horrible, would you? Construct? Would you? 
So what you're saying is if you're killed, we have no way of shutting this thing down. Oh, no, 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 no. The words of command aren't cued to my voice. Only the words matter. Much like one would utter when using a wand, staff, or other device. Anyone can use them. It's only a matter of knowing what they are. I imagine that's how the construct was issued its orders from its awful masters. Hate to have that happen again, provided they don't already have the backup wards already in place. That's what I would do. You really think they might? It always pays to have a second who knows the commands, Gnome. Especially if there's any chance the creator could be killed or wiped out. Otherwise, you're leaving yourself vulnerable. Hmm. I hadn't considered that. But what if I was harmed, unconscious, or... My word, even killed. Why, the consequences could prove disastrous. They could. But you could always take precautions, provided you knew someone you could trust. Yes. You have returned, and you have been wounded. Yes, my lord Garius, the harbor man, the one who disrupted our ritual at Crossroad Keep. He hounds us still. Let me gather my strength, and then I... My only concern is a ritual of purification, as it should have been yours. Are the statues intact? Can the ritual still be performed? 
the Harbor Man was able to finish a portion of the ritual, my lord, but by itself, it is not enough to stop us. By itself? Explain. When I arrived at the ruins of Ilfarn, another had come before the Harbor Man and I. I was able to destroy the statue that granted the fifth part of the ritual, but someone completed it before I could stop them. And I do not know who it was. I see. So it seems there is another player in this war. It is no matter. Once we slay the Harbormen, then the future of our king is assured. My lord Darius, the Harborman is stronger than before. He cannot destroy us, yes, but in battle, he may be a match for any of us. Indeed. He may be able to challenge one of us, but not all of us, I think.
You will regret that. <laughs>
I am listening. Stay close, and step where I step. Conforus. I am listening. Perhaps so. By the shadows of Merdelaine. I'll take you to the Rio listening.
Everyone, follow me. Mm. What? There. It's done. Now what? And just when I was growing tired of the Jero blood, a new vein appears. How... how did I get here? My dear, this entire haven is tied to the Jero bloodline. I imagine you got here exactly how you entered. My friends, where are they? Around, no doubt. Probably not having as easy a time as you, I expect. But let us chat for a moment, you and I. There is so much we should discuss.
I don't believe you. My dear, what you believe hardly matters. You reached here, did you not? I would think that was proof enough. So I can travel anywhere within this sanctuary? I can rejoin those I came with? Eventually, yes. It may require some practice, but you may find travel here erratic. This entire place has many locks and seals, their power drawn from the demons and devils caged here. Finding the right path may take time. But my friends can't? They will have a uh, more difficult time, yes. I think they will soon envy you when they discover the power you have. Go on, set your will to it. See what you are capable of. Imagine traveling elsewhere within the Haven and... And so the chase begins. Not a moment too soon, it seems. More guests are about to arrive. And what is this? Step forward, little tool. Let Koroboros look upon your features. Ah, a gift. After all this time, I am touched. Tell me, little one, how did you get here? I... I'm not sure. A demoness told me I could travel anywhere in this place. And suddenly I was here. Blood powers this place, girl. Now, here you are of your own free will, and the balance shifts. What balance? This place is powered by the presence of the Beatazu and Tannery held here. It is what permits you to travel as you will, and grants power to the one who commands us. And who is that? A powerful wizard, one whom your friends have hunted for some time. He has thwarted your efforts time and again. He is lord and king of this place, one forever linked to Shadow. I think his name is already known to your friends, and perhaps you as well. The King of Shadows is here? But... Then he better be prepared for a beating. My friends in here have handled a lot worse. My dear, as long as we remain in our summoning circles, the one who commands us will rise from every defeat anew more powerful than before. And that does not bode well for your friends.
The King of Shadows can't be unbeatable. There must be some way I can reach him, or my friends. The one who commands us does not entertain guests, and his control of this place surpasses yours. I doubt he knows an insignificant speck such as you is even here. Then I'll get his attention. Somehow. Oh, you could try. But I am certain his energies will soon be consumed with murdering your friends. And after that, he will no doubt crush you beneath his heel as an afterthought. A shame. I've rather enjoyed our brief time together. He's not stopping them, and he's not going to get me. And your plan? I'll think of something. Spoken as if time would wait for you. It will not. But you will realize that soon enough. What is this delightful creature? Are you a present from our master? He is not in the habit of granting gifts. He will not listen to me. Is there any way to reach your master? No, not for you. And what would you say if you could? Tell him to surrender. Let my friends alone. <gasps> you are here with friends? You might have a better chance of getting them to listen than our master. Is there a way to speak to them? My, you have strong feelings for them indeed. Go on, that should be enough. Simply think of them. Perhaps you can speak to them, but I do not know how long the connection will hold. Oh, and don't teleport around. It will ruin your concentration. Can you hear me? This place is sealed by demons and devils. But listen, they say that their lord is unbeatable.
That's what they say, but... Be careful. I don't think they were lying about this. Killing our Mazda? Oh, it's not impossible. What? I... Humans are so easily distracted. Now I'll have to wait. Yes. Yes. Oh, 
Stay close. And step where I step. Now! Strike swiftly! I don't like the sound of that! What is that? An alarm? Intruders. Unbidden and unwelcome. Are you prepared to pay the price? You! How you entered this place is a mystery, but it was a mistake. One which will soon be. Why, you have brought gifts. You carry the shards. And one is even lodged inside you. Interesting. Let me take them off your hands. And from your corpse. Time with a different one!
walk away from this. You! You think you have won? You are fools! The Haven! It is the source of my power! <laughs> Looks like you're not so tough after all. King of Shadows, my tail! This feels wrong. Even within this place, this sorcerer does not feel like our adversary. I won't do what you want. There's another way. There has to be. Of course there is. But the only other way is letting its friends die here, now. You're lying. Chandra. Even you know the truth can wound more than any lie. You and your allies are stronger than I anticipated. But I will bear these indignities no longer. This entire sanctuary is my weapon. All who are trapped here fuel my power. I can harness the energies of this place, bind them to me. I can summon flame from the walls, turn the air in your lungs to fire. And you, you are nothing more than leaves caught in a storm. Did you really think you could face me here and survive? It feels it. The lives of those others are about to be snuffed out. In moments, the decision of Chandra of Jero will matter not, and Amon Jero will have this day. It can't be him. It makes no sense. How did he survive? Where has he been and why, after all this time? Do such questions matter when death is so close at hand? The wizard they face is blood of Jero. It knows this. As for those you travel with, reach out to them. Feel them die. You can't beat him. The only way to do it is to free the demons. They're granting all his power. There's a way to stop him, but it's going to require some blood being spilt. Mine. There's no way I'm letting you die. Not after all we've been through. What do I need to do? It already knows the blood of Jero allows free travel in this place, so it can travel easily to each one caged. But if it wishes to set us free, to set us free, shedding of Jero blood is all that is needed. Oh my, and what is this delightful little present? Oh my dear, you've caught yourself. Now why would you do such a thing? Yes, you are almost done. This pain will soon end, and your sacrifice will save the souls of many. This is the end for you. I will bury your bodies in the walls of this place, and leave you to... to... Uh, what? What? What have you done? No! Tell me he did not just run from us. Oh, he's really making me mad. He's... he's just lucky I didn't beat him when he was tossing me around and snapping my ribs. Oh. We need to pursue him. If he gets away, he may gather his power again. I command you! Stay! I am your master! Your lord! Command me? You command nothing, Jero. But know that it is I who have set your undoing in motion. And with a truth, no less. Whether you die or live, I will see you soon, I think. Return to the circle! It binds you, and through it! A woman has undone you, Jero. As it should be. Don't fret. We shall see you again. Yaxus <laughs>
is free! Xerxes will tear you limb from limb, Jero! Then stitch you back together into new shapes with your own sinew. And after that, Xerxes will cut you and wear your hollowed out skin on my talons like a glove. Every circle broken, and without me knowing it being done. How? Ah, Jero. Just in time to see my departure. I did so want to see your face as I slipped from your grasp. You... who has done this? I must know! By your own blood betrayed, Jero. I would stay and savor your imminent death if I could. But I have already tasted your bloodline, and such a sweet, noble thing it is. Betrayed. But I still have the power to stop it. There is still time. You, answer me. How was this done? You see plots within plots. I command you, answer me. Of all the circles and wheels, plots and deceptions, you still have the audacity to blame me for what your blindness has wrought. I could not have orchestrated such a tragedy as has befallen you, little wizard. I admit a trace of envy winds its way around my heart. Perhaps we shall speak of it in a time not far from now, when you burn upon my fires. But for now, go to the last and see the truth for what it is. Me phasm! What you have done is brave, but foolish, Chandra Jero. You! Girl! You did this! My friends, are they- Your friends live! But you will not! You destroyed my summoning ah! circle! You set the deadliest creatures in the lower realms free! Ah! You have weakened me! And in so doing, ah! you have earned death. I know, Grandfather. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Grandfather! What is this? It is truth, Armin. And by such truths is one damned. I have no kin! All were killed in the war against the King of Shadows! It's not possible! Blood finds a way, Armin. Always. You lie! You know only Gerald Blood could have broken the circles in this haven, as her blood has now broken mine. There are laws, Gerald, and when one carries such laws too far, they will take you where I go now. You cowardly dog! Face us! Chandra, her life... I can't even feel it. it it's gone. Kill me now, and this place will collapse, and we will all die in my blindness. I have done a great wrong. Perhaps it is not too late to rectify it. 
and where one was lost, I still might save you all. Only a fraction of power remains in my haven, but it will be enough to take us from this place. So that's Amonjero. Not dead after all. Glad we made sure of that before running into his labyrinth of demons. Yes, he is alive, and he is much more powerful than Tails ever indicated. More powerful than some wizard, anyway. More powerful than you, Aquara, and you would do well to believe me. So what now? We imprison him? Throw him to the watch? Tell me you're joking. He'll send the entire district to the Abyss, and then he'll come after us. Justice must be served. But I am not certain he would find justice within Neverwinter's walls. We could throw him off the docks. I say we get what we need from him, then take care of him. No one needs to know. He murdered Chandra Jero, and he must answer for it. But we will not answer murder with murder. I'm sorry. I still don't understand what went wrong. Was there no way to stop Chandra from doing what she did? It just... it just... makes no sense. There is no sense to be made of it, Grobnar. Now we must simply accept. It is our leader I am worried about. The will of Armanjero is broken, and this makes him dangerous. But no, it also makes him of use. Know that Chandra killed herself in breaking the circles to save us. Amun merely hastened that end. Among my people, what Chandra did is a thing of honor, and its consequences should be honored as well. Know that Amun is the enemy of the Githyanki, and all he has done, he has done to fight the King of Shadows. It would be well for us to share words with him. If his knowing becomes ours, our strength increases. Speak to him, and see where his allegiances lie. Why did you bring her to my haven? Even though she was of my bloodline, you knew she did not have the strength to survive there. I have only recently escaped my imprisonment in the Lower Plains. And since then, I have fought to re-establish my stronghold and gather my forces, which you have ruined with your carelessness. As you know, the King of Shadows is growing in power as well. And the King of Shadows, he has won a victory against us this day without striking a blow. I have fought the King of Shadows before. As soon as I became aware of the threat he represented to Neverwinter, to the realms, I fought him. I have made packs. I have studied him tried to learn his weaknesses and the extent of his power. And always it has been a war with few victories. Surely you know of the ritual of purification. You should know that I have performed part of the ritual myself already. Without it, we cannot strike at the King of Shadows, and the battle is lost before it begins. Why do I wish to stop the King of Shadows? Perhaps this is a question you should ask yourself, since your motivation in all of this has been unclear from the start. Does he threaten you specifically? Do you feel that the Sword Coast cast beneath shadow would be an unwelcome thing? All life turned to death and ghosts. Or perhaps you would simply sleep better at night, knowing that a twisted remnant of the Ilfarn Empire was as dead and buried as they are. I think you will find we are of the same opinion on the matter, though I suspect our methods differ. I wish to stop the King of Shadows because he is a threat to not only the people of Neverwinter, but to the Sword Coast and Ferron itself. That is all, and while simple, it is the truth. Despite whatever onus has been placed on my actions, desperate measures were required to stop him the first time, and will be again. More can be saved as a result, and that is all that matters now.
Yes, an unpopular idea for anyone who does not truly see the threat to this plane. And that, Captain, is why you will need me in the times ahead, and why I will bear your presence for now. The King of Shadows is no mortal creature. He is not human, more a force than anything else. But there is something that can harm him. Those shards you have, they are part of the Sword of Gith. Kalakcha. Once the King of Shadows was driven back by Gith Yankee warriors wielding hundreds, maybe thousands of those blades. But the Sword of Gith is more than a simple silver sword. It can wound the King of Shadows like it did once long ago. A part of the blade got lodged in your chest in the battle in West Harbor when you were a child. And whether you like it or not, you are now that weapon. The more shards you gather, the stronger that weapon becomes. Together, we can stop the King of Shadows, and we must. I have completed part of the ritual of purification. If you kill me, the battle is lost as soon as my heart stops beating. Without me, you cannot win. Whatever punishments you think I deserve, I will suffer a thousandfold, well beyond anything your small mind can imagine. But I will strike at the King of Shadows before I leave this plane, and you will have no stronger ally than I in this, both in knowledge and power. You have defeated me in my lair, and I am weakened. I have no choice. The tactics you used are the sacrifices this war requires. Regardless, we must gather our forces against the King of Shadows. Even now, his presence is extending from the Mayor of Dead Men. The High Road has become impassable. My scouts, now vanished, reported legions of shadows and undead stirring within the Mayor, and a sphere of darkness expanding from the heart of the swamp, killing all life it touches. We cannot stop him alone. With my powers weakened, my demons are no longer bound to me. You will need an army to face him. Yes. No doubt. Yes. I imagine the history books have little to say on the matter, aside from my many misdeeds, which is how I wished it. The Jero family was once part of the highest nobility of Neverwinter. When growing up, I displayed a certain aptitude for magic, especially the magic tied to the lower planes. With little training, I was able to do spells well beyond my years, and well beyond any training I received in the academies and elsewhere. Gain it. With the lower planes, the power is always there. It just needs a focus and the will to control it. In my case, it did not take long to master that power. The greater discipline came in using it sparingly so that few could see. When one displays such power, it does not grant you freedom. It becomes a cage and makes you a target. You will be constantly beset by the problems of others, who will see your power as an excuse to compensate for the lack of theirs. That is never a position I want to be in, nor a philosophy I wish to encourage in others. Nevertheless, I displayed enough talent to be accepted by the Neverwinter Court, to be the Jester Mage. To make my intentions plain, it was a position of convenience and opportunity. One of many. The position allowed me to obtain access to many of the secrets of the Neverwinter, as well as free access to the Academy Libraries, their vaults, and the court records. Also, I thought that perhaps my position might give me a greater voice when attempting to convince others of threats that beset us. But that proved to be an ill-founded conclusion. 